Special thanks to Retromeller 1997 for the idea for this video. Have a fun or unique idea? Then subscribe. I will be doing more viewer request contests. Hey Leo, how are the burgers? They're great. Like yours as well? Yeah, so glad we were able to go to Dave and Buster's. It's always awesome going here. I agree. As great as Chuck E. Cheese's was, I can certainly say I like it here better. Yeah, but, you know what I really miss? What? The Chuck E. Cheese's pizza. Man, I could definitely go for one of those right now. Yeah, I miss the pizzas too a little bit. Makes me wish they gave out the recipe when they sold the place. Well, I mean this place used to be a Chuck E. Cheese's. Maybe they still have the recipe. Wouldn't hurt to ask one of the workers here. Great idea. I will ask one of the servers. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Sure, what can I help you with? I was wondering, since this place used to be a Chuck E. Cheese's, would you guys happen to know the recipe for the pizza they made here? No, there is no recipe here. Forget about it. Don't ever talk about it ever again around here. Jeez, I was just asking is all. You better watch your mouth if you're gonna be asking about that around here. Chill out, dude. There's literally no reason to be so rude. So how did it go, Caillou? Pretty bad, actually. The guy got really hostile towards me after I asked. He even said be careful who I talk to about it around here. Seriously, dude? I mean, they could have just said they don't have it and leave it at that. Yeah, I know. Clearly that means they must have it somewhere and they want to keep it as a secret. Oh yeah, that's probably true. But why would they be so secretive about it? I mean they don't even serve pizza here. It's not like them giving it to us would be a big deal. Perhaps they want to try to keep it for themselves. And not share it with the rest of us. That is so infuriating. Yeah, totally sucks. Wish there was some way we could find it and get it. Got any ideas, Caillou? I think I got a great idea. Let's hear it. Years ago, I attempted to do the 24-hour challenge here where I tried to stay here overnight. I think if we do that again, surely we should be able to stay here when the employees go home and find the recipe. Didn't you get caught though when you did it? Don't worry, this time is going to be different. When I did it last time the security system went off when I got caught. This time I'm going to call Dexter and ask for him to disable it for us. Why would he help us? Trust me, he owes me for something. Fair enough. Sounds like you got it figured out. Indeed, we're going to have to come back right before closing and then hide in the bathroom. After all the employees are gone, we can then go to the kitchen and see if we can find the recipe somewhere. You're certainly thinking right. Now then. All we have to do is tell our parents we will be home late tonight and we should be good. Sounds good. Meanwhile, a little bit before closing. Better go ahead and give Dexter a call. What do you want this time, Caillou? I need a favor again. This time me and Leo are going to be staying overnight at the local Dave and Buster's. What I need for you to do is to disable the security system while we're hiding. I swear, I'm going to have to eventually stop doing these dumb favors for you, Caillou, but I shall do what you ask. Thank you, Dexter. All good, Caillou? Yeah, Dexter agreed to help us. Now then, all we have to do is go hide in the bathroom and not get caught. Shouldn't be too hard. Just make sure your legs are visible when looking down. That's what I did last time. Got it. Alright, you hide in that stall, and I will hide in this one. Hello, anyone here? Looks like nobody is here. We should be good to close and to turn off the lights. Looks like they turned off the lights. Yeah. I'm going to be careful not to bump into anything. It would be best for us to wait here until Dexter sends us a text that he was able to get the security system disarmed. Good idea. I hate working the night shift. At least it's over now and I can go back home. 
Alright, let's take a look at this thing and see if I can get it disarmed. Let's see here. A few minutes later. There we go. It should be disarmed now. Better text Caillou so I can get back home and work on my inventions again. Dexter says the system is disarmed. We're free to check the entire place. Awesome. Let's go. See anything? Nah, nothing. Better check the kitchen then. See if you can find anything here having to deal with Chuck E. Cheese's. Right! Oh shit. Just what do you think you kids are doing here after hours? Um. Well. Just tell him the truth, Caillou. Well, since this place used to be a Chuck E. Cheese's, we figured there might be the recipe for the Chuck E. Cheese pizza around here. I'm sorry, but we believe we should have the recipe since there's no place around here to get it. Well, if there's one thing I can tell you, the recipe is certainly not here. When it isn't? Yeah, trust me. When I bought this place, that pizza recipe was the one thing they made sure nobody could get. They removed it as soon as the previous owner considered selling the place. Sounds like they didn't want you to get it either. Truth be told, even I was slightly interested in it too. Just one question. We talked to an employee earlier today about the recipe and he then started to act pretty hostile towards us. What was up with that? Oh, you talked to Jaden. Yeah, he used to work for the Chuck E. Cheese that was here. He was apparently under some sort of oath where he could never tell anyone the Chuck E. Cheese recipe. I have no clue why he would take an oath so seriously to be honest. Well that certainly explains a lot. Look, you two kids better get back home before I have to call the cops on you all, right? Yeah. Thank you for answering our questions. That was sure a close call back there, Caillou. We could have been arrested and been so grounded. Yeah, I know. Guess I might have just struck the right chord for that guy. And do you know the worst part? What? We didn't even get the recipe? No, I failed the 24-hour challenge a second time. I guess that sucks too, but, come on. We need to find another way to get that recipe. I'm not giving up on it. Yeah, me too. The next day. Alright, let's think about this. Considering what the Dave and Buster's owner told us, that means we must go to a Chuck E. Cheese's that is still currently in business. Yeah, and as far as I know the closest one is about an hour away. Gold City, right? Yeah, I had to go there a bunch of times to do community service. Oh right. Yeah, I remember that now. Well my community service time is now over so I don't really have much of a way to get back there. Yeah, neither do I. I got an idea. I guess I could tell my dad that there was an error and I actually still have a few hours of service to do. That way I can have enough time to go to the Chuck E. Cheese's there and ask their manager about the recipe. But then I won't be able to come along. I know, I'm afraid there just isn't any other way we can do this. Well, alright. Just promise to me that if you get the recipe that you share it with me. Of course I will, Leo. Good luck, Caillou. Dad, I need to go to Gold City. I just got a call from Denise, and she said that there was a miscalculation for the community service hours I did. I have a few hours that I need to do still. Can you please drive me there? Sure, Caillou. I mean, if it's required, then there's not much we can do about that. Thanks, Dad. All right, Caillou, here you are. I'll be back in a few hours to pick you up. Thanks, Dad. Gee, even the Chuck E. Cheese's in Gold City is pretty upscale. Or was it always this way, because the video creator never had an arcade background they could use? You'd be the judge? Hello and thank you for coming to Gold City's Chuck E. Cheese's. What can I do you for? I would like to speak to your manager if that's all right. Dude, you okay? Sorry, I just had some PTSD from a Karen that yelled at me a week ago. 
Oh, sorry to hear that. Don't worry, they'll be right out. What can I help you with? Peter said you wanted to talk. Oh hey, you're the owner of the Chuck E. Cheese's in Plotagonville. That's right and you were a regular there weren't you? Oh I remember how much you enjoyed Chuck E. Cheese's. So why are you here at Gold City? Is there anything I can do for you? Well if it's not too much to ask. I wanted to know, how is the Chuck E. Cheese's pizza made? I'm sorry that is just one secret I'm not allowed to share. Please, it has been many months since I had it. There's literally no other way I can get it in my town. I'm begging you, I drove all the way to Gold City just to ask you about it. Fine, I suppose giving it out to one person in your situation wouldn't be a bad thing. Follow me to the broom closet. Nobody will hear us there. Alright now listen up because I'm only going to be telling you this once. I'm all ears. Good. Now I will say ingredients that we use around the country are not always consistent. We usually go for whatever is the cheapest and what is at least decent in taste. Following you so far. However, the one big thing that separates us from most other pizza places is that we make our own fresh dough here. Many other places use frozen or pre-made dough. So that's it? You guys use fresh dough and that's it? It makes all the difference in the taste as you well know. Didn't realize that fresh dough made all the difference. It does, and now you know the truth. Well thank you for telling me. At least now I know to make my own dough when I make pizzas at home now. No problem, just don't tell anyone about this. Wouldn't want our competitors getting the upper hand by doing this too. Meanwhile when Caillou gets back home. At last, I finally know the secret. I better tell Leo about it. Hey Caillou. What's going on? Were you able to get the Chuck E. Cheese's pizza recipe? Yeah, I totally got it. Come to find out it was a secret and how it was made. What's the secret then? They used fresh dough. They made their dough fresh which made all the difference in the taste compared to other pizza places. Who would have thought? I know, we totally need to try doing that at your place sometime. Yeah, for sure. 